Hi, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel, A Puzzling Lamb. Today I'm going to show you all the puzzles I acquired in the month of December. And actually, only three of them were some that I bought myself. The rest were either gifted or some that I won. And the first one I want to show you is one that I won. <laughs> That's a bit difficult to say. One that I won. This beautiful, beautiful Elena Essex Christmas puzzle. I have seen a lot of other people do this one on Instagram. I've always been in love with it. I think I've talked about before that Christmas baubles is another thing I really collect. So I'm so excited to have this puzzle in my collection now. And actually, first, let me just show you the puzzle. Here, so it's a beautiful gradient with gold foil on it. I don't know if you can tell that there is some gold foil here, and it's also on the puzzle. Such a beautiful puzzle. And my first Elena Essex puzzle. I won this one in a Danish puzzle bingo Facebook group hosted by Christina. I will put her Instagram here. I can't quite remember it right now. I'll put it. You can find her on Instagram here. And some months, not all months, but some months, that's also difficult for me to say, <laughs> uh, there are prizes or a prize. And in November, I won. And it wasn't just this puzzle as it is now that I won, but Christina had put it together herself split it up in 24 sections and made an advent calendar out of it. And I got this one, I think I got it the 1st of December, and she had wrapped the puzzle box so I wouldn't know what the image was. It didn't take me that many days before I figured out it was this one and I was just so happy. And it was a wonderful puzzle to do as a as an advent calendar, but I'm also really looking forward to doing it as a normal puzzle, as one puzzle. But yes, really a beautiful puzzle. Really, really love this one. And the next one was also gifted to me as part of a secret Santa. Do you call that in English a secret Santa thing? <laughs> Christina had arranged in that puzzle bingo Facebook group I talked about. So I sent a few puzzles to a person, Christina arranged pairing us all up, and I got this one in return. And it's a 1500 piece puzzle with all these humans and their pets. And it just looks so like so much fun. And I don't actually think I have done a 1500 piece puzzle before. I do believe I have a few. I have one here. That one I think I showed in a previous haul. I haven't done it yet, but I'm really looking forward to trying that piece count. I think it's going to be really fun to have something that's a bit bigger than a thousand piece puzzle, but not quite the commitment that something like a 2000 piece puzzle is. But this one is just so cute and it's a trifle, trifle puzzle in their prime unlimited fit technology line. And I think I talked about it before. I have one from that uh, that is 500 pieces. And these are really, really great quality, much better than Treffel's normal quality. So love this one. Definitely worth being part of that Secret Santa group. I will definitely do it next year also, next Christmas. And now the next puzzles are some that I actually bought. So I bought some Wentworth puzzles when they were having their Christmas sale or winter sale. I don't remember what they called it, but they had a lot of Christmas puzzles on sale. So I bought this one, a 143 piece puzzle. And that doesn't sound like very much, but it's part of the extra difficult line. I have tried some mini, like 40 piece puzzles from their extra difficult line. But this is my first one in that big of a piece count. I actually think that in my Wentworth video I made, 
where I showed you my Wentworth collection, I talked about that I would really want to try, that I really wanted to try an extra difficult puzzle in a larger piece count, and I got it. So first, just let's take a look at the image. It's called Son of a Nutcracker. So the thing that makes these extra difficult is, first of all, the image. I mean, this is an extra difficult image, a repeating pattern like this, very detailed, all these nutcrackers. But the other thing that makes it difficult, and I will put up a video or some pictures, probably, <laughs> because I have done it. But all the pieces, are, they are like, I can remember, three, four different piece shape types and they are all interchangeable so it yeah really makes it extra difficult but it wasn't frustrating it was really fun to put together you can get these in a in even higher piece count i don't know if i need to try that i don't know if i think it would perhaps be a bit boring if it were a lot more pieces because you it is a lot of just trying the same piece again and again but it was fun in this piece count and it's also maybe not the most practical box this but it is fun with this cracker half cracker i think they called them but in that sale i also got this 250 piece puzzle i have looked at this image before i've always been in love with it i really think it's funny it's cute it's Christmassy and it's a bit different than a lot of other Christmas puzzles. And I got this in 250 pieces. I can't actually remember if you could get it in 500 pieces when I bought it. But I don't think this is one that needs more pieces. I mean, this section here, I'm sure it would be doable in more pieces. But 250 pieces is perfect. I haven't done this one yet. I don't think I will be able to wait to do this one until next Christmas. So it will probably be one I'll be doing sometime this year. Perhaps a Christmas in July thing. Beautiful puzzle. Looking forward to doing it. Now the last Wentworth puzzle I bought, not the last one I have in this haul, but the last one I bought was this 500 piece puzzle. And this wasn't a part of their Windsor sale. But when I bought from them, they had a discount code so you can get 10% off all Christmas puzzles that wasn't a part of that sale. So I got this with 10% and this is 500 pieces. I have done this one and I feel like I say that every time I've done a Wentworth puzzle. But I think this might be my favorite now. It was just such a fun image to put together. All of these sections well, you could, I could just basically do one section at a time. And it was just so colorful. I like that it's a Christmas puzzle. It's, it obviously is 12, it's uh, based on the 12 days of Christmas song, but it's not like obviously Christmas when you look at the image. But then when you look closer, it's supposed to be like a quilt. So, I don't know if you can see, but all of these different fabrics or what's supposed to look like fabrics that's been used um Christmas themed. So even though when you look at it from afar, it's not like it's filled with Santas and snowmen and all of those classic Christmas things. But there are a lot of Christmas in this puzzle. And this puzzle has some of my favorite selection of whimsy pieces I've had in a Wentworth puzzle. There were a lot of different kinds. There were a lot of different Christmas whimsies, Christmas baubles, a Christmas tree. There were, were a lot of sewing related ones, buttons, thread. But there were, of course, also a lot that were related to the song. So, so many interesting whimsies. Love this image. We'll be doing it so many times in the future. But I still have a Wentworth puzzle to show you. And this one is one that I won again. <laughs> so in December, Wentworth had a eight days of Christmas competition where they had 
eight different competitions because they have this series again, 12 days of Christmas, where they make one puzzle for each of the days and they currently have eight of the puzzles, hence the eight days of Christmas. So for each competition, you could win one of the days and I won day four. This is just amazing. And the special thing about these puzzles is this white section here, the inside of the tree, that is actually a cutout where there are no pieces at all. I don't think they have any other puzzles where they have those cutouts except on these 12 days of Christmas puzzles. And I really hope that they in the future will make more puzzles with cutouts like that. I think it's really, really interesting. And I think this one is just beautiful. Haven't, haven't done it yet. Looking forward to it. The last stack of puzzles are puzzles I got as Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. And the first one I actually have right here. So I got this from a friend of mine. This is a puzzle by the brand Iello. And as you can see, I have a few of the puzzles. I have done two of them so far. Such amazing quality. I really, really love them. It's a very cool, nice designed box here. And as you can see, you can't really use the box as a reference when you're doing the puzzle because it wraps around like this. But let me just show you, it does come with a poster. So let me just show you here so you can see the image better. Here. Like this. So it does come with a poster in a very nice size, I think. I'm not a fan of full size posters. Where am I supposed to put it while I puzzle? I can't use a full size poster. This is a very nice size. And as you can see, this image, I really, really love it. I think it will be quite difficult, but I also think it will be doable. There are a lot of sections you can sort it into. Such a beautiful one, such interesting colors. And this brand does really have some beautiful, beautiful puzzles. A lot of them, I think, are very difficult, but they have some amazing ones. And at least here in Denmark, they are very reasonably priced, especially when you consider the amazing quality you're getting. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting this one together. Now let's put it back on the shelf. They also store nicely. <laughs> There are three puzzles left, and these I actually got from three different people, but they are all the same brand, and it is my favorite puzzle brand, really my favorite puzzle brand, Paper Blanks Puzzles. Now this one, you can see the full image here, really, really beautiful. They have just the most beautiful puzzles, and I love everything about this brand. No, not everything. The pieces are a bit loose fitting for my taste. But other than that, love it. Beautifully designed box. You have the full image on the back. There's a poster included. The box is a perfect size. This is 1000 pieces. The box doesn't need to be bigger than this. And the pieces are really, really great quality. But the thing that makes this my favorite brand, that really makes it my favorite brand, and I'll just try and show you the pieces. So I'll try and show you here if the camera can pick it up. But all of the pieces, they have they're kind of metallic in texture. And then there are all these shiny bits that fits with the image. So some places they're shiny, some places they are rough. Do you call it that? Also it fits the image. Oh, I think you can see it here. And the finished result, when you've put a puzzle together here, is just beautiful. I think I have a few videos from puzzles I've done from them before. I'll show you them here. I love these puzzles. They are just, it's just amazing. I mean, some puzzle brands do, like you saw with the Elena, S Elena Essex one, they're like gold foil on them. This is just the entire parcel, metallic looking and shiny places and rough places. And it's just so, so beautiful. 
yeah, it's just, the whole package is just amazing. Like I said, beautiful box, beautiful images, beautiful pieces. I really, really love them. And also the price for these are actually not very bad. These are ones that could easily be, yeah, way more expensive. If they were, I wouldn't have as many as I have now. I can't remember how many do I have. I think I have eight now with the three I got for Christmas here. And I think they have some new ones on the way that are really beautiful too. But yes, this one, so looking forward to putting it together. The second one is this one, and I think most of you will recognize this image. So this is an image, Klimt, is that how you pronounce his name? The Kiss. A lot of puzzle brands make, have this image on one of their puzzles. And I really, really love this image. I think it's a really difficult image. But when I saw that Paper Blanks made this puzzle, it went white onto my wish list because these paintings, as far as I understand, in real life do have a go have gold on them. So I feel like if you have to do this image as a puzzle, Paper Blanks is just perfect because they have that really lovely effect texture on their pieces. And then the last one for, for this haul, again, also Paper Blanks, this one. So, so beautiful. And here another thing that's great about paper blanks. You can see they do write a bit about the art. But this one, oh, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Now all of paper blanks puzzles are quite high in difficulty just with the images that are on them. But I do not mind spending a lot of time with these puzzles. They're so beautiful. I cannot recommend these puzzles enough. That were all the puzzles I acquired in December. And as always, please let me know if there are any of them you'd like to see a video about. A lot of them are Christmas puzzles, so they're maybe not the most appropriate to make a video about this time of year. But I am tempted to make a video about paper blanks puzzles, so I can show you in detail why they are my favorite puzzle brand. Please let me know if you would like to see that video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.